vegetables out there. No, I'm not going to bloody eat vegetables. I can't bear to witness it. The atrocity that is going on in there. Smithfield Market has been selling meat since the Middle Ages. But animal rebellion activists have beef with its owners. Every time I see or think about a piece of meat now, I see animal carcasses, I see death, I see torture. And that is why I'm here today, and I think that's why we're all here. They want the market to take meat off the menu and start selling fruit and veg instead. They say animal farming contributes to climate change and want people to eat a plant-based diet. All about the carrots. Only two types of people in this century, and it's uh, people who are on vegan diet, and then it's people who are transitioning. The Countryside Alliance disagrees. They think Animal Rebellion should encourage buying British meat instead of importing it, which could cut down the carbon footprint globally. Market traders were unhappy they were obstructed. It has disrupted the whole meat trade. And it's going to disrupt everywhere, the catering, all the butcher shops, they're not going to be able to get their meat. There was a funeral procession for the dead animals. Freedom of speech, isn't it? Freedom of speech. Everybody's got their own opinion, isn't they? And the protesters went to bed in the middle of the market. Work continued around them, but there weren't many customers. No one's come out the market today. No one's going through, are they? Animal Rebellion said this was just for one night, and the traders hope it doesn't happen again. Jamie Morland, BBC London.